Today we're gonna uh, install a little shed cover right here next to this uh, liquid nitrogen. They use this for the forklift uh, fuel and the guys come outside and, and come here in this gate beside this and fill up the forklifts each day uh, in this liquid nitrogen and with the weather and the, with the rain they'll have the nozzle freeze up on them get the fuel in the tank so they wanted a shelter over it so when it's raining they can still come out and fill it up but today's video is i want to show you how we get our columns level this concrete is existing and it was poured outside the building not intended for a roof or a foundation this concrete slab is not level it's it's fairly good but it's within an inch or two off so i'm going to show you how we level the post we could get a laser out yes um but just a simple project like this and six columns and sometimes with this equipment and your columns are on the other side if you don't get your laser just right the fence in the way it may affect the way that laser shoots so we use a water level this water level i can go up under this tank i can go up under the fence i can get up under all these fittings on this hookup of this gas or this tank and it'll never get in my way because water is always level a water level is water in a tube the one key factor is to make sure you have no air bubbles in that water um, then you find an elevation mark that you want to start with mark your first column and then level off of that mark on all your columns and then we'll figure out what height we want on the roof and that mark of the elevation we made with our water level we measure off of it the same distance on each column that we want and mark it and then we come back with our bandsaw and cut the top of these columns let me take you and show you how we use the water level so if you haven't already hit that subscribe button like follow along with our other videos um, I got some videos of building some buildings some roofing techniques um, different tools that we use and I'll show you as much as I can maybe you can learn something maybe you can give me a comment that I can learn something because I just like to get better I like learning and I love construction so let's build it so my guys are stretched out the tube it's been under the back seat um, just making sure there's no air bubbles in it air bubbles will affect your levelness you got to make sure you have no air bubbles your water your water solid and the first guy will hold the water level on our mark here not the end of the tube but the water level you can see the water level right here and he'll match it up with this mark Then the guy on the other end. You see the water level? We made a mark right beside it. Doesn't matter about the elevation of the ground. The water's going to stay level. The man's going to go to this post. There again. Mark the elevation of the water. And this guy here, he can go to the next post. Hold the water on the elevation of the mark. Good. And this guy here will mark the elevation of that side. You can see the extra tube. It doesn't matter. You just need the elevation of the water. So we come across from these columns, leveled over to that one. Now we've come back around 
we started on this back column here leveled one mark across there and then we come down this way come to this end over to that one back around then we'll hold it there we've already got a mark on this last column and this last column will tell us if we're right the watermark should line up with that one to that one if there's any discrepancy it's human error because the water is going to be level so we make sure just to double check that last corner that it matches up with our first mark that we made and we've got it we've got our elevation mark we got our levelness now we've got something to measure off of and figure out our pitches this side this side next to the fence will be shorter than this side and we've actually got a 212 so i've done my my a squared plus b squared equals c squared figured out the math got my rafter length i hope you enjoyed what you've seen i hope you learned something i hope i helped out now what we want to do is cut the least amount of columns so we measure from the top down to our elevation mark and get all of our different measurements so right here we got 59 and 5 eighths we started with a 10 foot column and when we started our first elevation you remember we started with a five foot mark off of the concrete they come out 55 9 and 5 8 so you can see that the elevation of the concrete's about 3 8 off from the front column the, the two different front columns this one here we've got 61 and a half check this middle one we got 60 on this one so we measured from the top of the column down to our elevation mark and we've got 61 and a half 60 59 and 5 eighths that tells me that there's a two inch level difference in the foundation but i don't care about the foundation of the concrete or the levelness of the concrete what i care about is that my roof is level so what i'm going to do is go with a happy medium go with the i'll start with the 59 and 5 8 i'll cut the other two columns the same i've got a level mark there then for the high side i'm on a uh, 212 pitch this is a no i want a 24 i want a 24 inch elevation rise from low side to high side so i'm just going to add 24 inches to 59 and 5 8 which should come up to 83 and 5 8 i believe and then i'll measure from my elevation mark on the high side up to my 89 what did i say 83 and 5 8 mark that mark on these three columns cut those off at that mark and i've got my elevations level for my roof now i can start installing my rafters put my purlins on screw this metal down go home see you next time until then, good times.